Hi Pisces, um, this is your monthly love reading. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. August is finally here and I'd like to find out for you guys what's in store for you this month in love, okay? And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not be possible to resonate with all of you as it is a collective reading. And also time is fluid so this reading could relate to you in the past, currently or in the future. And I'm going to do a Celtic cross bread instead of the usual daily reading for you guys. Alright Pisces. And uh, you see this... <laughs> Okay, this is what happened. Usually it happens sometimes. I was shuffling and I've already laid out the cards and then I realized that I forgot to press the record button. So anyway, I just don't want to waste it. I feel like this is your message so I'm not going to like close it out and then you know redo it but anyway Pisces towards the end of this reading I am going to find out for you guys as well how does this person feel about you okay whoever you're dealing with that you're thinking about in terms of your love relationship um, what we're going to try and find out right now is an overall energy on messages for the month of August this month Okay, and then after that, we're going to go to and find out how this person feels about you because I know it is a very popular um, topic here, at least on my channel. I feel like a lot of people like that and they've been requesting for that. And I do that pretty often in my during my daily guidance reading. So I thought I'm just going to um, not deprive you guys from it. <laughs> I'll do it at the end of the reading, okay? But for me, Pisces, if you've been following my channel, you know that been watching all my videos, you know for me, it's like, yes, we all know what is going on, how we feel actually. Um, all of this reading is just going to you know confirm how you feel basically but however I am an advocate of what do you what should you do moving forward right to solve this problem or situation or just you know fix or heal yourself what should we do so I feel like this is the most important part when it comes to tarot reading um, besides already confirming you know confirming what you already know but you know what can we do to make things better? You know, whether it's ourselves or what could, what could we fix about ourselves, or should we walk away, or or you know, should we walk away from this this relationship, or is there something that we need to fix, or that you know, whatever the case is. So to me, <laughs> I guess uh, for me, it's it's all about solution. But let's get to your reading since I already shuffled and I have three decks here. I'm gonna use this deck to actually uh, clarify. Okay, this is a Celtic cross spread, so there are ten cards here, and actually I already started. <laughs> clarifying one card here, the Ace of Wands, and I realized I forgot to hit on the uh, record button, but luckily I found out. I realized that before it's too late, before it's towards to the end, I'll be like, ah, because it's a monthly reading, it's going to be a long one, okay? It's just once a month, but I still do your daily reading, which usually is shorter, but depends, depends on my mood. All right, Pisces, let's get to your reading. So we've got the Ace of Wands here in reverse, Queen of Swords. Someone has cut off a, a beginning, a new beginning. I'm sensing Ace of Wands or a relationship, okay? Ace usually means a new beginning and the Wands is like a passionate new beginning. Usually it's something to do with a relationship. Unless for some of you, you know, Wands sometimes could also mean a baby boy when I do baby prediction, gender prediction reading, but this is not it, okay? But sometimes, you know, it could, you could relate to it as well. Some of you, um, I don't want to talk about pregnancy, but anyway, if you're pregnant, you're pregnant, you know that, right? So, uh, we've got the Queen of Swords here. Somebody has, is very stern, was very stern. It's sitting actually in your recent past here, but it doesn't really matter because time is fluid, right? So, the Queen of Swords is actually showing that Someone has cut, has removed something, a passionate, a passionate relationship or a relationship in, gen, in general, okay? So we've got the Six of Cups here. So someone here is revisit, revisiting uh, a past here um, or wanting to visit 
someone from the past, okay? Take what resonates with you because roles can be reversed here. The Six of Cups, it means someone here is reminiscing about the past, but it could also mean an ex coming back, returning, right? Um, and let's see. Yeah. Because they feel stuck, okay, roles can be reversed and they want to say they're sorry. But what I'm getting, Pisces, here is that the offer of coming back or trying to ask for a second chance is what I'm getting as well as being knocked down, basically. Um, someone here is saying, no, no way, okay? Not buying it. <laughs> Queen of Swords is right here, so even I'm afraid of her. <laughs> So we got these six of six of swords here, right? So what it's showing is that in your mind, this these are your thoughts, okay? But roles can be reversed, like I mentioned. So someone here is actually trying to move towards karma water, trying to either fix things. Sometimes it could mean that, or just literally moving forward, moving away, moving on. It could also mean that, okay? Yeah don't want to participate anymore, don't want to be involved in this this uh, relationship anymore, okay? Because possibly before that, for some of you, um, this relationship could have been quite abusive, but mostly um, ver it could be verbally abusive, okay? Or uh, emotional a little bit as well. I mean, it's the same thing, verbally abusive, you know, it's going to affect you emotionally, so it's the same thing. However, um, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing just not wanting to be a part of this anymore, okay? So there will probably fight arguments and aggressiveness uh, with the words. I mean, who knows, right? Uh, could be physical as well, but, um, but with the swords usually means communication, but it could also apply to different areas. But we have the Four of Pentacles here, so it's definitely showing that someone is keeping to themselves right now and not wanting to communicate because sword, again, is about communication. And just wanting to move towards common water, towards peace, and not wanting really to be a part of this, this uh, charade anymore, okay? We've got the Page of Swords. I feel like... Um, Someone here is very stubborn, okay? Because page of swords could mean someone intelligent, but very stubborn, but also very immature. Uh, they think they know everything, but actually they are inexperienced or argumentative as well. Again, I'm seeing some arguments, like argumentative energy here as well. So someone may not want to admit that it is their fault and constantly just wanting to fight, wanting to argue. That's what I'm getting as well. But the page of swords could also mean uh, spying, investigating, that sort of an energy. Okay, and um, we've got the tower card here. So this is in your subconscious, but I feel like it has ended, right? But it didn't just end like end, but it ended in a very shocking, shocking fashion, right? Yeah. Okay, for some of you, it, um, it was a shocking revelation about a certain relationship, which is another relationship outside of your relationship with this person, okay? Resulted in the Hierophant in reverse, which for some of you could have been married, not all, but, you know, in actually in a committed relationship here, and it has ended because of that. Oh, okay. And we've got the Ten of Swords here as well. So what is showing, can you see? It doesn't really matter, right? I don't really like to show the cards because it just cuts off. It just mess up with my flow. But you can, as long as you can hear me. So we've got the Ten of Swords here. So it's showing that someone, uh, you, you are really, really done, okay? Done, done, done. Because you feel so betrayed. And again, roles can be reversed, okay? Either you or them. But the ending was a really harsh ending, okay? Um, in a form of betrayal. And very, very painful right here. And shocking as well. And then we also have the three of wands right here. So this is the hopes and fears. I feel like there is a hope here. Still waiting. Someone is still waiting here, or for some of you, it could be a third-party situation because 
the three of wands sometimes could signify a third party for some of you okay not all of you but um, I'm not seeing very heavily the third party but it is possible okay for some of you oh which which it is actually I've already said right they could have started a new relationship or something else outside of the your original relationship here so yes it could be a third party um, likely to be that but the three of wands third party sometimes may not just mean about another lover it could also mean another you know external factors that could have caused the friends or family could have caused the relationship to break down but we have the three of wands yeah i feel like this is a hope hoping for the ship to sail in hoping for something to happen or or waiting something about waiting let's find out yeah most of you yes it is a third party but there is a hope of um, ending this chapter and starting a new chapter I'm not sure if it's ending this chapter and starting a new chapter with the old person or with the new person or just basically ending this whole chapter um, from whatever this experience which is terrible that you have been through right that you're going through right now um, I feel like it is a third party because there's six of pentacles here that means someone could be feeding someone else or maybe it's just you hoping for a more starting a new chapter but hoping for a more balanced give and take kind of a relationship I'm also getting that okay but the thing is Pisces it looks like someone who does not want to give someone a chance okay whether it's you or them Just take what resonates with you like I mentioned roles can be reversed it could even be mixed up as well so we got the page of ones again in reverse okay <laughs> all right this in your advice portion so Pisces you're dealing with somebody um, okay, you could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or even Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. Again, we have Leo and uh, Taurus again. And you could also be dealing with, I mean, all the signs are here, right? Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and that's you, Pisces. Pisces, I feel like you're somebody who is very nostalgic, okay? Someone who, like, you always think about your past, right you have um what you call sentimental values about you i'm sensing here because this is you the six of cups your pisces cancer or scorpio so a lot of things in your past that i feel like you always hold on to it whether they're, they're good memories or bad memories whatever the case is but you're someone who holds on someone who holds on you're someone who hold on to something in your past is someone who appreciates history appreci appreciates uh, I feel like more so like they affect you a lot okay all of your past experiences um, it really really does affect you and sometimes in a good way and sometimes not but Pisces spirit is trying to tell you right with the page of wands here in reverse and even the king of wands in an upright position as well as the seven of cups here it shows whoever you're dealing with here okay whether it's you or them okay but very strongly fire energy here Pisces Cancer uh, no, sorry Aries Sagittarius Leo that this person is very confused okay this person is doesn't even know what they really want maybe an in and out energy as well and may could have been non-committal or just not knowing what they want uh, for some of you uh, not all of you okay for some of you this person for some of them uh, these people you're dealing with uh, they could be very uh, they don't always make the right decision okay and they fantasize a lot they have a lot of fantasies and they're not being realistic most of the time a lot of things that are not uh, their actions are not realistic okay and also what I'm sensing uh, is that just for some of you some of them that they could also have some substance abuse problems or alcohol problems okay I don't know why I'm getting that 
just for some of them, not all of them, but um, generally, because that's so specific, right? But generally, it's just like I feel they are constantly confused and don't really know what they want and they don't usually stick around anyway. They're not that kind of energy that is very grounded, okay? Queen of Pentacles is in reverse here. Whoever is a feminine energy is in reverse. I feel like this could possibly be you, okay? The feminine energy. But again, with tarot, it is not gender specific. I am female, but I could also embody a male male energy, okay? But what I'm seeing is Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. I feel like Pisces, uh, maybe this is you, okay? You do not want to participate at all and you just, this person really messes you up, right? Um, even your stability, your feeling of groundedness, your safety, you don't feel safe. Oh my gosh. So we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles in an upright position. So there's some days where you feel like you're losing it, and but there are some days where you feel you're okay, all right? And I feel like where it's leading to also, um, it's to me it's juggling because there are two pentacles right here, although both different cards, they are like two of pentacles, meaning like, the juggler okay juggling so there are, you have your ups and your downs at day some days you feel like you're not grounded some days you feel like what's going on and that um, you don't feel safe I'm getting safe but then and, and but some days you just feel you're okay right um, Pisces exactly what I said this whole experience with this person has turned you upside down but you have your moments there are sometimes some days where you feel okay and some days you don't feel okay and we've got the eight of pentacles here in reverse as well let's look at it this is the most likely outcome Pisces I feel like uh, with the high priestess right at the end of the card which I'm not gonna take any more cards out I feel like the the universe trying to tell you that to use your intuition but and also um, the future in love for you at least for the month of August it doesn't look like it looks like something of an unknown because the high priest is in upright position and especially when it appears in the outcome position it usually means that the universe doesn't even want to tell you okay because sometimes they feel like um, that you need to find out yourself as you go on with your journey here, okay? So we've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So there's something that you do not focus. You don't want to focus on this connection anymore. But there are days where you do focus. So this is why there are ups and downs here. Um, for some of you with money situation, Pisces, um, it's really time to focus on your finance finances okay that's very important right now don't lose grip of it and we've also got the page of cups here uh, and this could be you okay Pisces Cancer Scorpio so it doesn't really matter for all I know you could be dealing with another water sign but like I'm like I said roles can be reversed we've got the page of cups here that means someone here wants to say that they are sorry okay uh, whether it's you approaching them or they approaching you uh, but because I feel like because they feel very trapped in their head it's because of guilt as well there's some sort of a guilt uh, going on in their head that they feel they're really sorry whether it's you or them here and wanting to come um, this is a predicting predicted future uh, in the month of August but uh, anything can change right um, in tarot it's like time is fluid so this could even have already happened to you in the past and no longer is is happening okay if your energy I always say this if you keep you know if you still think about especially right here with the six of cups here uh, you still are affected heavily by your past uh, whatever that's happened to you even if it's like 10 years ago um, and if I read your cards for you like say 101 right now um, face to face even if it happened 10 years ago uh, the cards are still going to show your experience from that time at that time because your energy is still there you know still weighing very heavily on you so whatever the case is Pisces 
there is definitely a story coming in, whether on your end or on their end, saying that they're sorry and that um, they want to make peace, okay, they want to make peace. But with the high, because they feel very guilty, it's been stuck in their head, they've been wanting to do that. They feel like the only way that they could feel more at peace or to release themselves from this mental entrapment is by actually owning to to it and actually saying that they are sorry okay we've got the high priestess so most definitely i feel like in time to come okay in divine timing as well like uh, spirit is trying to tell you that as you go along the journey you will see you will find out okay currently uh maybe it seems quiet or maybe there's nothing going on and that's you too pisces the high priestess so use your intuition um i feel like you already know in a sense but you're keeping it super quiet and you're not actually speaking much about it all right pisces let's find out now uh I just don't want to forget. Uh, yeah, this one. Let's find out how this person currently feel or think about you, this person here, right? Spirits and angels, please show me how does this person currently feel about Pisces? Mm -hmm. Please show me more. How does this person feel about Pisces currently, Spades? Oh, both of you are mirroring each other. So we've got Six of Cups here as well as your Six of Cups. So I feel like uh, Pisces, whether it's you or them, okay? Again, even though we're asking questions, how do they feel about you currently? But there is a likelihood for it to be switched as well, like it's your energy instead, all right? But uh, we've got the six of wands in reverse, and we got the world card in reverse. They feel very stuck. They don't feel, they feel like such a loser, okay? They feel like they're such a loser or that they've fallen from grace. And also we've got the three of swords here, very heartbroken, very, very extremely heartbroken. And still, um, I'm getting also not 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 accepting the fact that it is over as well. Okay, with the hermit in reverse, although they've come out from the hermit mode, but they've but for me, I I feel that they have never gone into the hermit mode to begin with. Mm. Mm hmm. I don't usually really like like that, but that's how I feel currently. Okay, with this this card here, we've got the page of wands in reverse six of cups they're wanting to say come in to say they're sorry but um again i feel like they for some reason they feel like um they want to they want to reconcile but for some reason they feel like they don't want to something is holding back holding them back huh interesting Okay, because they themselves are not healed yet, okay? Because they themselves are not healed yet and they're not happy at all. Um, whoever did whom wrong, whether they did you or you did them wrong, I feel like they, they do reminisce. They do reminisce uh, about you and both because both of you are mirroring each other and they are very heartbroken. Some of you is because of third party situation, but with the page of wands in reverse, like they want to offer something, they want to extend the olive branch, but for some reason they feel like you should be the one doing that, <laughs> or you think they should be the one doing that, okay? Vice versa. Pisces, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. Your monthly August 22, 22, 2020 reading. I hope it helped in some way, shape, or form. And thank you so much for supporting my channel here, for liking and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. And also, uh, I do private reading. All of my information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me. If nothing else, as you guys know, I post a video every single day and love. Uh, sometimes Korean finance as well. I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to start doing Korean finance more often. But it's just that I'm very tied up. <laughs> but I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna try to be more consistent with Korean finance. But 
currently with the love I've been keeping up with it it's been every single day so hope to see you tomorrow take care Pisces bye